everybody, I am the Happy Cabbie, and this is a video follow-up on the Face Palm response. Last week, I wanted to know uh, how gay marriage, and particularly your opposition to gay marriage, how gay marriage affected you, and uh, we got a whole bunch of comments here. We had 151 comments. I'm going to be going through uh, some of the comments, particularly in the ones that basically explained how gay marriage affected them. There were some comments that were, you know, backing my position, but this video is going to be addressing the criticisms. I also did ask for video responses, but um, I didn't see any video responses. Some people attached older videos, but there was no video responses. So this here is just going to be responses to comments. Uh, but anyway, the first one comes from Ace8842. It affects religion, uh, religious freedom of speech. It has forced many Catholic adoption agencies to shut down. There was no citation for this given. I did look this up on the internet um, for several hours attempting to find any Catholic uh, adoption agency or for that matter any religious agency whatsoever being forced to shut down and I did not find a single one. There has, at least as best as I know, there has not been a single religious agency that has been forced to shut down because of gay marriage or gay marriage laws. Not a single one. It has not happened. Now, I did find uh, a few instances, uh, in particularly of a, a Catholic agency that shut down on their own. Uh, because they simply refused to abide with the laws and the uh, the government that they existed in, particularly like in Washington, D.C. They just decided to shut down on their own. However, they were not forced to. Um, so ACE8842, unfortunately, you were not able to provide any kind of statistic. Um, I can't find any single Catholic adoption agency that was forced to shut down. It, it just hasn't happened. Um... It means kids in public school will be forced to learn about gay sex, gay marriage, and read books like a king and a king. Okay, well, here's the problem with that. Um, your children are going to school with children of gay people. Okay, gay people, in, 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 depending on where you are, uh, make up anywhere from 5 to 10% of the population. So if you're in a class of 30, there's a good chance uh, one or two of your uh, kids' classmates you know, come from a gay family, or at least have gay relatives. Gay people are out there, and, uh, you know, you may not uh, like the books like King and the King, but the thing is, one thing the schools are teaching is tolerance. And uh, if you don't want to do that, there are several options out there for you, such as homeschooling or sending your kids to a Christian school, which, of course, you have to pay for. But nevertheless, um, in a, a secular school, one of the things they're trying to cut down upon is uh, gay bullying, and part of the one of the ways they're doing this is teaching that yes, people are different, but being different is okay. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, see some more comments here. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of back and forth about there. <laughs> it's a Jewish conspiracy to kill the Edomites. Uh, once again, I looked this up on the internet. Uh, I didn't really spend as much time as this as I did on the Catholic Adoption Agency. I spent about five minutes. Um, are there homosexual Jew Jewish people out there? Yes, yes I am. However, I have not found any uh, Jewish-run websites that are run by homosexuals in which they intend to kill Edomites. So, unfortunately, uh, A-L-S-D-F-A-L... S-D-V-J-O-E-N. Um, I was not able to find any citation for that. Okay. And this one here is from Cyan Leopold. I am opposed to any state san sanctioned marriage. Uh, I think the term and the idea of marriage should be left to the providence of my church and any and all that wish to have their union recognized uh, by the state should get civil unions. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. But nevertheless, that was his opinion. Um, as, as long as the, the, the government is not distinguishing between homosexual relationships and heterosexual relationships, I have no problem with it. But the current state of what it is right now, uh, the government does recognize the difference between marriage and civil unions, and that's one of the big problems that people like me have. But anyway... 
Um, let's uh, check out some more comments here. Got a whole bunch of responses to that. Got a whole bunch of responses to that. Oh, uh, Quaker Town Jackass, a longtime subscriber. I think he's been a subscriber since 2008. Uh, it affects my faith. It says marriage is between one wo woman and one man. Um, again, no citation for that, uh, but I can tell you uh, that is not what is in the Bible. Um, it is not in the Bible that marriage is between one man and one woman. Uh, what's actually in the Bible is a polygamy. Um, uh, if you were to if you were to look into that, um, polygamy is the biblical basis for marriage. Uh, it says it, it affects his faith, but he didn't really say why, um, and he didn't really give a follow up. There are a few people that asked him to uh, to follow up on that, but um, he didn't really give a follow up on that. But anyway. Uh, Lord Window Licker says, if two men are allowed to marry, that means we'll soon allow dogs to marry houseplants. And then we'll need to legalize sex between adults and children, not to mention what will start to happen with Moloch's. It makes me sick. Uh, one of the, uh, the problems that I have with that is when we we're talking about marriage, we're talking about two uh, consenting adults, or in cases of polygamy, uh, more than two consenting adults. Um, dogs and houseplants, um, well, houseplants are certainly not considered sentient life. Um, some people, you know, have their own opinions whether or not uh, pets are sentient or not, but uh, definitely uh, they are, um, you know, they're not going to be able to marry houseplants. And uh, I don't think, uh, in my personal opinion, that dogs can consent to anything. You know, dogs cannot enter into contracts. They can't sign their name to a contract. You know, I mean, they can tell you whether or not they like something or don't like something, but uh, but no, um, animals getting married, uh, no. <laughs> uh, furthermore, dogs are just happy to just screw around with whatever. So, um, legalized sex between adults and children. Uh, once again, we're talking about consenting adults. Uh, children, by definition, are not adults and therefore cannot consent. Um, and some states, uh, the consent is set at age 16. Some states at 17. Some states at 18. Uh, at least the United States, other countries have their own laws, but uh, nevertheless, uh, adults and children are, you know, it's not a consenting relationship. So, uh, getting back to my subject of polygamy, uh, this one here is from Mostly Harmless 1985. My main concern about gay marriage is oddly the issue of polygamy. If marriage between two consenting adults of any gender, okay, then why is a line drawn at two? I completely agree. I, I see nothing wrong with those who willingly choose to enter into a polygamous relationship. Um, the strongest argument for gay marriage is the issue of consenting adults entering into agreement. This means that the strongest argument against polygamy is also the strongest argument against gay marriage. Why is one right and the other wrong when the basis of the argument is the same? Um, so yeah, I mean, I completely agree. Uh, as long as we're dealing with consenting adults, who willingly want to do something, I have no problem with polygamy. Uh, I imagine I'm going to get a lot of heat for that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here. Uh, Mr. J. Boma says marriage is a cultural construct. It changes as culture changes, uh, and which, of course, is true. For example, traditional marriage has always been polygamy. The idea of one man and one my wife in the history of mankind is actually, you know, a relatively new figure. Uh, if we reach the point that the idea of polygamy is widely accepted, then I think we should change our laws to reflect that. But if we will require a lot of laws to be changed. Our legal system is set up to handle two-person unions and would need no modification to accommodate gay marriage. Uh, well, I, I, dis I disagree with that. Uh, there are um, you know, a very few states in the United States, at least, that uh, gay marriage is recognized. Uh, and even if you have a gay marriage, um, you know, in one state, most other states won't recognize that. Okay. Okay, the Naked Atheist... Uh, says, since it appears that no one has answered the question, I will give you the answer I've heard most commonly. 
The endorsement of gay marriage by the state essentially sends the message that homosexual relationships are acceptable. Uh, I, my child, if I were a Christian, and remember this is the naked atheist talking, so more than likely he's not a Christian. If my child has homosexual tendencies, he's more likely to act out on them and be condemned for eternal damnation in a society that doesn't send the message that homosexual relationships are unacceptable. And that definitely makes sense. Um, so yeah. Okay. Uh, lamb chop. XOXO says people are such suckers. I hope my comment helped. Happy I noticed that everyone is just brown nosing and saying it doesn't affect them, but that wasn't your question. Good luck with your response video. Um, not quite sure if that helped, but uh, definitely thank you for the comment. Uh, oh, here, here's a comment here. Homosexuality is an abomination. This here is another comment from Lamb Chop. XO, XO. Uh, while that is true, in, in the Bible, uh, homosexuality is an abomination. Can't get around it. Um, but uh, there's also a lot of other things that are in the Bible that are generally accepted. For example, uh, Red Lobster is an abomination. Um, you know, working on the Sabbath. Uh, well, no, working on the Sabbath is not an abomination, but, uh, you know, uh, other things, uh, I think uh, clothes of different materials is an abomination. There's actually a whole list. I'll actually, in the video description, it's in Deuteronomy. They give a whole list of abominations, and a lot of things will say, it's like, what's the big deal with that? And then at the very end, it's homosexuality. Um, so, yeah, I'll post that in the video description. I know it's in Deuteronomy, and I think Deuteronomy 28, but like I said, I'll put it in the video description. Um, of course, a lot of people followed up uh, with that comment. Uh, let's see. But uh, but yes, in the Bible, it is an abomination. Uh, but, you know, just like in the case of Red Lobster uh, being an abomination, you know, the restaurant chain Red Lobster is an abomination, according to the Bible. Uh, how does it affect you? Uh, now, of course, you can just drive past Red Lobster, uh, and you could say, ooh, people are eating lobster, you know, they're basically like the trash cans of the ocean, but it doesn't affect you. You don't go into Red Lobster, you don't eat at Red Lobster, you just drive past it in your car and say, eh, look at all those people eating, eating Red Lobster. How does gay marriage affect you? That was the question. But anyway, uh, let's continue on here. A lot of comment replies to Lambo Chop XO XO. Ah, here's another one from Lamb Chop XOXO. It affects me because it's against my religion. God says that marriage is between a man and a woman. Um, actually, not 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 a, not entirely. Um, the, the biblical marriage is polygamy, um, and it's dishonoring to the picture that Jesus paints the Bible as a church being the bride of Christ. Now, there are some passages, for example, like in Genesis, where um, it says a man will leave his uh, mother and father and cleave unto his wife. And then, of course, there's the passage in Timothy, where it says in order to be uh, uh, an elder in the church, you have to be the man of one wife. Um, you know, so that's in there. But the biblical tradition uh, is polygamy. That's in the Bible, and that, that can't be disputed. Um, and in fact, even in Timothy, it just says, if you want to be an elder, you know, in the church, you have to be the man of one wife. Uh, it doesn't specifically say in the New Testament that, um, you can only have one wife. It just says, if you want to be, you know, an elder in the church. So the bride, uh, in the Bible is clearly supposed to be the woman because Jesus is a man. Uh, the Bible also says that homosexuality is wrong, which is true. The Bible does say that and that marriage is re really a product of the church. No, it's not. Um, marriage is not a product of the church. Um, marriage has been around predating the Bible, uh, predating the Old Testament. Um, you know, it's it was originally, you know, designed to basically be a way to transfer property. Um, you know, because women didn't have any rights, they were considered property. And in many cultures, you know, you, know, you want to, uh, to purchase a wife, uh, you would, you know, say, okay, well, I'll give you some cows, or I'll give you some land, or, you know, here's a couple of chickens, or maybe I'll trade some of my slaves for your daughter. And, 
you could do it that way. I mean, that's, you know, how you would do it. Uh, and then, of course, there's also a story in the Bible uh, where, um, was it Jacob? Yeah, it was Jacob. He wanted a daughter's hand in marriage, and the guy says, okay, I'll give you um, seven years of hard labor, and then I'll give you my what? Give you my daughter. He did seven years of hard labor, and the guy actually gives him the wrong daughter. <laughs> And Jacob says, what, the Smurf? And it's like, oh, you wanted this one. Oh, okay, seven more years. So the guy actually works 14 years of hard labor in order to get the wife, and he actually winds up getting a two-for-one special. So what are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> but no, uh, marriage is not a product of the church. Um, uh, the marriage predates, uh, you know, the church. Marriage predates the Old Testament. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's uh, read here some more. Uh, Lot of comment back and forth between Lamb Chop XOXO and that one. A couple of comments removed. God, I hate it when people remove comments. <laughs> I know one person, if you actually uh, remove comments, he actually blocks you. Uh, I, don't, I don't do that, but it is very irritating when people remove comments. <sighs> okay. Dangerously talented says, I don't want it to be compulsory. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. You know, I'm not gay. I don't want to get down with any buggery, but if two people want to, uh, you know, butt smurf each other, snow skin off my nose. So. <laughs> I like this one here. Uh, Valentine Nation, how does gay marriage affect you? More weddings to attend. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine the decorations? Oh. <gasps> That's a gay stereotype right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, the Jungle of Long says it doesn't affect anyone, but should be, should not be taught at school. Um, how do you explain it if, you know, one of the students in the class is gay? Or what if the teacher is gay, you know? And all of a sudden, you have a last name change. Before it was, you know, your teacher is a Mr. Johnson, and he gets married to Mr. Smith, and he, it's like, okay, so why is he now called Mr. Smith? Oh, well, we had a gay marriage. What's a gay marriage? It's like, well, you put on the ring, and then he goes, eh, 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 eh. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, but no, you, you wouldn't be teaching this in school, but, but, but certainly not, but... Uh, uh, there, there was another one here. Um, Peaceful Atheist actually responded, if gay marriage should not be taught at school, then straight marriage shouldn't be either. And, th and that makes sense. I mean, you don't have to, you know, describe, the, you know, this. You know, you could just say, it's like, hey, some people are gay. That's it. That's all you got to do. Uh, here we go. Happy Jesus 123 says, gay marriage is wrong because it makes an, an imaginary man who lives in a sky undery. It's also... <laughs> It's also unfair to fat chicks. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell for laughing at that. There we go. D. Landon Cole says, I got two winning invitations I wouldn't have otherwise have had. So yeah, you, you gotta buy extra toasters, you know. Uh, here we go. Rubber Wilbur says, happy if you're gay, just come out and say you're gay. If you're bi, come out and say you're bi. It's nothing to be ashamed about. I was like, I'm sorry, but I, li I like Hooters. And we're not talk talking Harry Mantis like I got. Uh, here we go. Pompous Preacher. How does gay marriage affect us by triggering earthquakes, causing hurricanes, tornadoes, and natural disasters? That's damn straight. We, we all know natural disasters are caused by gay marriage. You know. But anyway, I uh, do want to thank everybody for posting comments. Uh, like I said, I just highlighted and addressed the comments that were actually critical of gay marriage. Gave my explanation for it. Uh, anyway, I'll be um, posting some links in a video description to some Bible passages. Um, you know, uh, Bible Gateway is actually a really excellent source if you wanted to look up passages online and uh, be posting links to that. Anyway, I am the Happy Cabbie for the Face Palm Response Channel, and I will see you guys next Friday.